at Damascus Gate, one of the most impressive and magnificent gate in the walls of Jerusalem Old City. I'll just mention that there are eight gates in the walls of Jerusalem. Seven of them are open. One of them, the Golden Gate, also called the Gate of Mercy, is a sealed gate. Damascus Gate is located in the center of the northern wall from where the road to Nablus begins. Hence its name is also Nablus Gate and in Hebrew Shechem Gate where Shechem is Nablus in Hebrew. Nablus Road starts right across the main road named Sultan Suleiman. Now Nablus Road initially leads to the northern neighborhoods of Jerusalem and then leads to Ramallah and from there to Nablus and if continuing to the north eventually we will reach Damascus. The gate has more names. In Arabic it is also called Bab el Amud, Gate of the Column. Following the column that once stood in the gate plaza and on which a status of the Roman Emperor Adrian was placed. From this column, the distances to the various cities were measured. The column also appears on the map of uh, Madaba from the end of the Byzantine period. And we will return to the map of Madaba and the streets that originated at the Column Plaza towards the south of the city very shortly. It is important to remember that although Emperor Adrian reign is considered one of the most prosperous during the reign of the emperors in Rome, he is the one who suppressed the Bar Kokhva revolt in the year 135. In the suppression of the revolt, hundreds of thousands of Jews lost their lives and his decrees, among other things, prohibited the entry of Jews into Jerusalem. Emperor Hadrian turned Jerusalem into a pagan city called Ilia Capitolina. In most other languages, the gate is called Damascus Gate for the reason I mentioned a minute ago. The road to the north led further towards the city of Damascus. The gate is also called Stephen's Gate because according to one of the Christian traditions, the first Christian saint, Saint Stephen, was stoned in front of uh, the gate. Now this tradition relocated from Damascus Gate to the Land Gate and back to Damascus Gate. The current gate was built at the same time as the wall was built during the Ottoman period in 1538 by Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent. And above the entrance, you can actually see an inscription that mentions Sultan Suleiman. As you can see so clearly from here, Damascus Gate is located at the center of a riverbed, which is the main raven that crosses the city from north to south. The slopes of the Vadi and the uh, dense houses are seen so clearly uh, from here. The uh, raven deepens and widens in the area of the Western Wall Plaza near the uh, Temple Mount and exits the city through the Dungs Gate.
And now we return to Madaba Map and Emperor Adrian who built Ilia Capitolina. Now, two streets were paved from the Colum Plaza, originated right here. The uh, two streets crossed the uh, city on north to south axis. One street is the upper western cardo. This is the one uh, on the right. And the second street is the Eastern Cardo that was built along Haggai Street where Guy in Hebrew is Valley. And you can see it at the end of the Tanner's Gate. And of course, you are invited to watch the video, The Tanner's Gate. The gate is located on the Raven, as you can see nicely here. And this is to protect the weak point in the northern wall. As happened in a number of occasions throughout history, the point of breaking into Jerusalem was at the northern wall. And although there were different reasons each time, yet still. Due to the fact that the gate is at a weak point, its level of fortification is the highest among the gates of the old city. Not only did it have two guard posts above the uh, wall, but its gatehouse contains two turns, which slows down the enemy breaking into the city, since the penetrators must turn left at the entrance and after a short distance turn again, this time to the right. The doors that close the gate are made of wood and coated with iron similar to the doors of Jaffa Gate. The Ottoman Gate was built on top of ancient ruins in several layers. The gate that you see here is actually remains of a triumphal gate that was built by Emperor Adrian following the uh, Bar Kokhba revolt. The Roman gate included three openings of which only the eastern one, that's actually the one, uh, remain. The gate was also built on the remains of another gate from the second temple period. Now, this gate leads to an excavation site under the current gate structure. 